What I want to follow up with is going back to taking over Menlo and then any other stops along the way where, I mean, you have been coached and mentored by some really powerful basketball minds surrounded for most of your career, you know, with people that empowered you to do a lot. And now you're the head coach and you're ready. And let's jump into this. When the reality hits, what did you still need to learn? What did you finally realize? Like, oh my goodness, this is way more than I thought it was. Well, I think there's a lot of lessons. Um, I do think I was ready as, as a leader. You know, I think I was, had a pretty clear vision of the things that were important to me and what I wanted my team to look like. I think I had the great fortune of already being there three years. And I had the great fortune of helping Kevin establish a culture that we both believed in. So it was a pretty natural transition for me in a lot of ways. So I think the transition to being a head coach, I think for me, I knew how I wanted to lead. I knew how I wanted to communicate with the guys. I know what I wanted our team to, to feel like and act like. I think the big challenge was for me was getting my team to play like that. Mm. And, and I think this is an immaturity on all of us is you don't realize how hard it is. And, and the beauty and the nature of coaching is trying to align your style of play with your culture. Mm -hmm. And one of the challenges I think we all have the first time we become a head coach, and I get this question a lot, people become head coaches and they say, hey, what do I need to be aware of? And I will say, write down everything that you want to do on a piece of paper and cut that in half. And then cut it in half again. You know what I mean? Because you will never, ever, ever, ever be able to get to all those great ideas you had as an assistant coach. They'll never work when you become a head coach. Very few of them, very few of them will. You know, so you got to like almost take everything you want to do and cut it down to a very small bit and then try to be great in those areas. Right. And I think in the process of doing that, what I learned is that's when you begin to align, you know, your culture and, and how and, and what your beliefs are that then I think you start uh, aligning that with how you play. And for me, I think I had, I had to learn that. And I'll be honest with you, Justin, like I didn't learn that at Menlo. I don't know if I learned that until I got here uh, with Coach Katz, right. you know, I mean, in terms of developing practice plans and developing a style of play that fits who you are mm -hmm. and fits what you believe in. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're a head coach, you have all these grand ideas and you try to be everything to everyone. And at the end of the day, they're great ones. There's great beauty and simplicity. In a lot of ways, mastery is, is simplicity. Yeah. And I've learned over the years that when I was 28 and I was the head coach at Menlo, we did a lot of things really well. We had a great culture. We played our butts off. Uh, great kids on and off the court. But I don't know, like as a basketball coach, I think we, lot of, we won a lot of games on, on our guts and we, lot of, we won a lot of games on being connected. But I don't know if we won a lot of games because X's and O's wise, we were out scheming people, you know what I mean? Yep. And that's the growth, right? And I think you, you nailed this on the head where how do you align your style of play with your culture? And then you, when you reference where you are now with Coach Katz, how do you align it with who you are, right? And what's important to you? And, you know, I think we were together at Davis and then we were together at El Camino and, and you know, me coming in there and, and trying to apply what we did at Davis and then growing and figuring out what worked best for me, where now I'm like the polar opposite of, of what we used to do. And it's figuring out what works for you and what you're comfortable with. And you said, it, I think that, you know, great beauty and simplicity and too much is confusing for the kids and figuring that out is really important on your journey. And um, thank you for sharing that lesson.